All right, quadratics number two. In quadratics number two, we are going to solve quadratic equations by graphing. There's lots of different ways to solve quadratic equations. Today we're going to do it by graphing. Starting with an equation x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Now if you have a handout, you don't have to, gra to graph this or draw it. But if you don't, you probably want to sketch it. Notice that it says equals 0. It's not just a quadratic um, function. It has to equal 0 for it to be solved. 98% of all quadratics have to be equal to 0 to be able to solve them. Here is a picture of this equation. x squared minus 2x minus 3 is graphed. It looks like this on a graph. And then it wants to know where does this equal 0? Where does that equal 0? Meaning, where does the y value equal 0? Well, if I use negative 1, for x, it says you're going to get 0. Or if I use 3 for x, it says you're going to get 0. Let's try it. Negative 1 squared is 1. Minus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. If I take 1 minus negative 2, I get 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. It worked. Let's try it with the number 3. 3 squared is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So there is a way to solve this by graphing it. And all you have to do is find the zeros of the graph or where y equals 0 but x equals these two numbers. And because it's a parabola, most of the time, most. Most of the time you will have two answers because the parabola is going to go down through the x and come back up. So most parabolas, even if they're reflected, will have two answers. And you'll have two answers over here. But again, I did say most. If I graph this one, negative x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0, it looks like this. It's reflected down because it was a negative. And this parabola just so happens to go up, 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 just hit the x-axis, and right as soon as it does, it comes right back down. So in this case, when it just barely, when the vertex lands on the graph, you're going to have only one answer, wherever that is that it hits the graph. And then there's the random, like, oh, I graphed this one, x squared minus 4x plus 7. Remember, we're looking for any values of x that make the graph equal 0, well, this graph never even made it to 0. This equation has no solution to it. None. There's nothing real that actually works for that equation. So if we solved it by hand, if we solved it by graph, if we solved it any way we tried to, we would never find a real answer to that. So we're going to try to graph these. Solve the equation by graphing. You have to go to www.graphsketch.com and you're going to type in x squared minus 6x plus 8. You don't have to put in the equal 0. On Graph Sketch, it's going to say the function of x equals and you will type in that. So go ahead and go to that website. Okay, and looking right here, if you can see this, how do you write x power of 2, x, the little thing above the 6, makes that little caret exponent squared minus 6x plus 8. And you see the function there. If you want a different color, put it in a different box. Okay, graph that. Take a look at what you see here. And it shows you your parabola. What you need to do from there is find out where does it cross the x-axis where we can find the values of y to be 0. Right here at over 1, 2, 3, 4, and again at 4. Over 2 and over 4. So your answer that you answer this, I'm okay with either saying x equals 2 comma 4 
no parentheses because it's not a point, or x equals 2 and 4, or you could also say x equals 2 comma x equals 4. Doesn't matter. Try this one on your own. Oh, not on your own because this one's different. x squared plus x equals negative 1. You cannot solve this by graphing unless it equals 0 because we're trying to find where it equals 0 on the graph. So we have to add 1 to both sides, get it over here where it belongs, and we're going to go with x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Try it. Graph it and see what you come up with. Hopefully you got the same graph that I did, and as you can see, it never does reach the x-axis, so this is going to have no solution to it. Let's try our third one. Same idea here. It's a negative x squared plus 6x equals 9. It can't be equals 9. It has to be equals 0. So you're going to type in negative x squared plus 6x minus 9 equals 0. Graph that. You don't graph the equals 0 part. And let's find our solution. I made my graph purple this time. But notice what happened. It went up and up and up and up and up. It just hit the x-axis right at the vertex and went right back down. So that's over 1, 2, 3. Therefore, our answer to this is x equals 3. Now that doesn't only happen just when the graph is reflected down. It could happen at any time. This graph could have been drawn this way, where it went down, 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 hit, and went back up. Anytime the vertex just hits it in one spot. But that's it. That's what we have. You're going to do your assignment on graph sketch so that the graphing will all be done for you. Good luck.